Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the next part of the 100 day speed build challenge slash the next part of, I don't know, rebuilding the Sims 4 completely. So yeah, if you don't already know, I'm completely rebuilding every single world, every single lot, every single family in the Sims 4. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. I know Little Sims has already done it, so don't think I'm like copying and pretending it's my idea. It is 100% inspired by her. I just thought it'd be fun to put my own twist on it. Plus, I think I'm going to be redesigning a lot of the lots more than just giving it a makeover so you'll have some new worlds to play in. For example, today, I completely got rid of the nightclub because it was boring. Like, that is not somewhere that I would go. And I replaced it with a church, which has been turned into a nightclub. Which is, I don't know, it sounds kind of weird, but the place where I went to university, I went to uni in Leeds, um, like on my walk home, they had a church and it was like a really, really old church. Actually, fun fact, it was one of the only churches in Leeds that hadn't been cleaned since the Industrial Revolution. Because in the Industrial Revolution, obviously there was loads of factories and things, loads of smoke, so you'd have to clean your house like <laughs> more than once a day like your literal physical house, not just the inside of it, because it'd be so black. But because this church hadn't been cleaned since then, it was literally, you'd think that the bricks were black. So yeah, obviously this church is white. So it's not a replica of the actual church or anything. I just found like a church thingy on Google and I thought, hmm, that looks cool. But yeah, but the idea of it, the concept of it is from there. Although it did shut down. I don't think it lasted very long, so... Well, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, I do kind of like how this one turned out. It's a bit different. Um, it's not really something that you'd see in Willow Creek, I guess, because Willow Creek's got a very, not I can't think of the word, like not certain style, but it's got its own style. It's very Willow Creek, like the style of the buildings and everything. But I want to change that up a bit because like I said, this nightclub was boring. Like, I don't know, it just looked rubbish. And this one's cool. Like your Sims can go party in a church and be good Christians. <laughs> but yeah, I know this might be a bit weird for Americans. I don't know. Because uh, England's not really at all that religious. Like, at all. My family's all Catholic. But, no, like, nobody preaches it. Like, in Ireland, I think 80% are Catholic. But how many practice it? So, <laughs> so yeah, it's a very different world from America, I think. Because I remember... I mean, I'm not judging all by everybody, but like, when I used to have Instagram, my old, old Instagram, um, an American was following me and she had a go at me because even though I said that I was like, I believed in God, I wasn't really going to church. And I was just like, it, it was just hard to explain because in England, kids don't really believe in God anymore. Like, it's rare to see a kid that believes in God and stuff. Like, the older generations obviously still do because things were different then. But now, it's not really... I don't know. It's not... Christianity's not really a thing. Like, obviously, it's there. We're still a Christian country. We still have Christian marriages. We still celebrate Christmas and things. But it's more just as a celebration. Like, kids still get christened. All my nieces and nephews are christened. I'm christened and everything. I mean, I do believe in God, but yeah. But that's more of like a it's because you do it kind of thing it's like you have a birthday party because it's the done thing not because I don't know you believe in a birthday god or something but that's kind of how it is in England things aren't like you don't you don't get christened because you you want your kid like you don't want the devil to steal your kid's soul basically <laughs> but you get it because it's kind of an excuse for everyone to get drunk and it's a celebration party kind of thing because if you didn't know, because I know the majority of my subscribers are from America, England has a massive drinking culture and I mean like binge drinking culture. I'm not too sure how it is in America actually, but you know, as soon as you turn, well, before you turn 18 to be honest, I'd say for like half of teenagers, I'd say from age 13 onwards, like they'll have experienced being blackout drunk, but that's that's just how it is doesn't mean it's okay, it doesn't mean it's good, but you know, that's how it is. I can't remember my main point, but yeah, oh that was it. I think some Americans might find it weird because it's a church. I don't want to offend anybody, that's not what I'm about on this channel. I just, I don't know, I thought it was cool, I thought it was different, especially this back garden bit outside. I think this is really, really cool. A bit hard to get the roof in right because you might be watching me building the roof in a little bit and then think, what the hell is she doing? Because I had to do it 
from the church to the back bit like stretch it back out so yeah that's why it looks a little bit weird but overall i'm really happy with it i really like what i've done with the fairy lights and everything i think it looks really nice if anybody does want to download this just comment down below and i'll put it up for download but it's a lot of faff on to not like to already put it up for download so if you just want me to i will but we're getting towards the end of the video now so i just want to say thank you because i'm currently at 297 subscribers which is insane i had like 240 50 yesterday so hello to everybody who's new but i'm gonna go now so thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye everyone